everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have another WWE action figure custom tutorial for you guys. Back at it again. I, I really enjoy these, doing the updated series where we kind of update a figure or try to, you know, get a figure as closely to the person in real life as possible. I think we have a really good chance here today. I'm actually really excited about it. I went back and forth on the formula a few different times. It took me a while to get the formula correct, and I even snapped a figure's head off over here trying to get the formula correct, and God dang, man. And uh, it wouldn't have happened. I'll show you guys exactly why that happened in a second. I mean, I know why, you, you know why it happened. I'll show you why it ended up happening when it didn't have to happen. I didn't even need this figure, which I'll get into. So today, guys, we're going to be updating our Roman Reigns. You guys know he returned at SummerSlam. He's got new teeth. I don't think we're going to be able to do anything about that today. But, you know, how he looks on SmackDown when he comes out, he's got no sleeves. He wears his t-shirt. He's got his nice joggers on. He's got his tennis shoes on, ponytail, chilling with Paul Heyman, Universal Championship. That is what we're going to be doing here today, and I think uh, it's going to turn out pretty badassery when we're completed. So, let's start off with the basics. This is an Elite 62 Roman Reigns. Now, I'm pretty sure you can use any Roman Reigns. Ideally, using the brand new Roman Reigns, the Elite 79 would be perfect. I don't want to touch mine right now. I want to wait till I get a couple more of those before I experiment with it because I love that figure so much. Um, so, I'm not going to be touching that one right now. However, what I am going to be doing is using this Elite 62, and since he's wearing a t-shirt, you're not going to be able to see the tattoo anyway, so we'll get into that real quick. So Elite 62 Roman Reigns, Elite WrestleMania Shane McMahon. You may need the Roman Reigns that has the, the white boots outsoles as well. We're going to see about that. I'll show you guys uh, that in a minute. We'll just kind of see how that plays out. We may not need it. We'll have to see. And another thing, he will be smiling here because we are going to use the ponytail head sculpt, so if you guys don't want him to smile, I recommend the Elite 56 slash Elite 65 Roman Reigns head sculpt. I know his hair's down, but that's the best version of Roman Reigns head sculpt that is not in a ponytail. So we're trying to get that promo attire updated Paul Heyman Roman Reigns that we see on Friday Night SmackDown so far. So what we're doing, guys, is you have Elite 62 Roman, you got your Shane McMahon figure, and you might need an extra Roman here with the white boots, which would be Elite 56, but that's optional right now. We're going to see how this plays out. You also need a t-shirt. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be this t-shirt. I think this one came with the Shield Epic moments three pack you can either use this shirt or you could use just a plain black shirt if you want to i guess it's not really mandatory for it to be this one but it's a roman shirt that we got from mattel so you probably want to make it roman reigns shirt right and then you have older roman reigns arms now these are from i don't know the exact figure i think the elite 26 roman i do believe if you don't have these arms the elite 79 arms are actually a better possibility as well because you don't have to worry about you know you could just pop the arms off slide the gauntlets off and then pop the hands back in but these these have blank hands. You know, you don't have the Roman gauntlet glove over here. And then you have these removable gauntlets. So Elite 26 is, I think, the Roman you need. Elite 26 or 31. I think Elite 26 has zero things on the arm, so that one would probably work best. You wouldn't have to remove this. And then you have the Elite 31 or whatever the hell that has these on there that you can easily remove. But let's dive into it, guys. Let's start off first with what we're going to do. Okay, so first of all, what we're going to do is remove this head sculpt and remove these arms. Before we do that, though, we are going to remove the vest. If you're ever here, heating up a Roman Reigns head sculpt, arms, any of that, you want to remove the vest, knocking Paul Heyman out. That's another thing I forgot you need. You gotta have Paul Heyman to pair him with, right? So there's Paul Heyman. We'll, we'll look at him at the end when we all get it together, but we're gonna take the vest and put it far away from the Roman and this Roman as well. Since we're not heating him up right now, I just wanna get him out of the beam of light. I don't want him to be touched there, and I'm really, God, I'm so, you gotta be very careful when you're heating up these Roman Reigns head sculpts, but this is the interchangeable one, so we really don't have to heat it up because you can pop it on and off. I actually do want to widen the head hole though because I've I, that's how I snapped this neck right here. I thought I needed these arms because you can remove this, but I found those arms in my fodder box. If I had found them earlier, I wouldn't need this. I wouldn't have snapped the neck. I wouldn't be crying. Alright, so this is our ponytail head sculpt. We can set that off to the side. We're going to need to heat up these hands to pop the gauntlets off and then pop the hands right back on, but we also have to heat up this head sculpt. So we're going to put Shane McMahon to the side for now, and we're going to take our t-shirt off to the side, but we are going to heat up this head sculpt as well as these arms right here, and I highly doubt that we'll be able to get all of it off. You know, I doubt we'll get these arms, those arms, those hands, this head sculpt all off at the same time, but you never know, Brad. You know, you never know. You never know what the possibilities are right here, but uh, we're going to get into it. Another thing you're also going to need is some acetone, and you're also going to need Citadel Air Black. Should have mentioned that. Pure acetone, 100%, and Citadel Air Black, or just black paint.
paint in general because we will need that when we're doing some stuff to the head sculpt. But let's go ahead and get this stuff switched. All right, I don't know if this head sculpt got heated up enough. I highly doubt it, but let's go ahead and remove these hands if we can and not burn my damn face off. Uh, let's just remove the arms first. How about that? We'll remove the arms. Oh, God, that's freaking painful. All right, get these hands out of here. The best way to remove the hands is I do like a quick quick little plug, you know, just like a quick little snapsy of the wrist. You know, you just take it right here and you just... Just like that, and uh, that's the best way to do that. So we got the gauntlets off. Let's go ahead and plug the arms back in right here to the figure with all the tattoos, you know, all the way down the sleeve. Okay, the head sculpt, God dang, I'm scared to do that. I don't I don't trust it. I'll heat that up again in a second. But if we can put these hands in here, that would be excellent. Doubt we can do that as well. Of course not. Of course not. All right. Ah, uh, Jesus. All right, so this is what you should be working with. Long sleeves here, no gauntlets on there, tattoos all the way down. And I'm going to go ahead and heat up this head sculpt again while heating up the holes of these arms. But I'm not going to show you guys. So the next segment you guys see will be me uh, popping this head sculpt off. All right, I got the head sculpt off. Very, very scary stuff right there. All right, now we can probably pop the hands in right here because we did heat that up. Or we can. Christ. Jesus Christ, man. Come on. Why are you being a hoe? Jesus Lord. All right, maybe the hand will go in here and we'll have both of our hands done. God, the figure is on fire. Okay, got both the arms done right there. Very, very nice. All right, now what we can do is we can pop on the ponytail head sculpt from the Elite 79. We're gonna pop this on here. So doing that right now, I put the left thumb on the chin and then just kind of center it right there and then just slowly push it on. And you hear that pop noise. You don't want to like slam it on there and snap the neck peg. So that's the last thing you want to do. But there we go. Figure is definitely coming together now. All right, the next thing we're going to do, maybe we should do that last. I want to figure out about the legs first. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to heat up the crotch and we're going to heat up the crotch of the Shane McMahon figure to give it that joggers, you know, uh, sweatpants type look that he wears on SmackDown. So that's going to be the next thing we do. We're going to heat up these legs here together. And uh, since they're both on ball joints, very, very interchangeable and easy to switch so let's go ahead and do that all right guys let's see if this should work i felt like that was pretty good heat right there or not oh god i don't want to snap it mm, mm. back to the hair dryer All right, maybe that's good enough now. Let's see if we can get the Shane McMahon leg off there. Other jogging pan off right there. Good Christ. Oh, my God. Roman Reigns' legs are on fire, which they should be. I mean, we just heated them up for God knows how long. But the only thing I'm worried about with these legs is it probably is going to make him too short. But we're going to see about that. Oh, my God in heaven. All right, I think we got them both on. I don't know. That's not too bad right there, even though he has, like, j what is that? It's like they're in place. They just kind of wobble a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. It's definitely the jogger look, but, I mean, his other pants are kind of the jogger look, too, so I don't know. Look at the height comparison here. Okay, so the height doesn't even affect it. The height's fine because this, this is a regular Roman Reigns right here, so the height is pretty virtually the same. I don't think you have to worry worry about that. So I'm just going to leave this for now. Um, I think that's optional though. You know, you can leave these pants if you want. You can put these pants on there and then uh, just paint this white. Or again, if you have the Elite 56 Roman Reigns, you can put these boots on there or use your Elite 56 Roman Reigns to switch the arms there because this gives it that same look because he wears trainers with white outsoles like this. I just kind of wanted that jogger look because these have the, you know, the, the pants pockets right here. I even thought about switching the lower legs with these so you'd have the lower legs of the Roman boots on the Shane McMahon. I'm not sure if that will even work. I don't know if these lower legs will even go on there. They low-key look like they would, but who the hell knows, man? You know, I mean, I, I have no idea if that would even work. Another thing that sucks is his legs are kind of like, you know, his feet are kind of like wobbly. So anyways, let's move on to the head sculpt. Because I mean, the gaps in the leg, like it doesn't even look bad. It looks like he's wearing pants. 
But anyways, let's move on to the head sculpt. All right, guys, so this is where your acetone is gonna come in. So right here, Roman Reigns has his hair like cut right here where it's like kind of shaved on the sides and then it goes bald and then it goes into a thick beard. So what we're gonna do is acetone off right here in the corner. There's even a line right there that you can even use as a measuring stick. You can acetone that off and then acetone the other side off and then you're gonna come back with your paint, thin it out, have like a light line there where this used to be, like kind of make it light and more transparent, and then you paint on the thicker beard. So go ahead and t key the time lapse and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Alright guys, so here's the Roman head sculpt after painting on the beard and the side of the head. And I'm very, very happy with this. I like Roman a lot better when he has the thick beard going. I really wish it was sculpted on, but I think you can paint it on and make it look just as good. You guys can see from the side there. I really, really like this. I think it turned out excellent. It turned out just as good as I thought it could. And I'm very, very happy with it. Now the last step, all we have to do guys is put the shirt on there. And we put the shirt on there and, you know, add the Universal Championship. Put him with Paul Heyman. I mean, my God, it is a perfect 2020 Roman Reigns. So let's go ahead and put the shirt on right here. We got the no gauntlets going. We're looking pretty damn good. We got our sweatpants going. Again, the sweatpants are kind of optional. I just kind of put it on there. I think it works, though. It looks pretty badassery. He doesn't have a watch on, which kind of sucks as well. However, I think once we put the shirt on... All right, there's the shirt. And you got the pants. He is smiling, man. You know, maybe we can get a pissed off ponytail head sculpt one day. So there we go. Ponytail head sculpt. Sculpt, t-shirt, pants, Paul Heyman, and then the Universal Championship. And there you go. Paul Heyman, Roman Reigns, sweatpants, bare hands. There is your updated Roman Reigns action figure. I hope you guys did enjoy the tutorial and showcasing how you guys can do that yourselves. Again, the, the pants are completely optional, I think. I think if you didn't want to do that or you just wanted to paint the outsoles on your Roman and just replace the vest with the t-shirt, put the arms on there, the blank arms, that would, that would totally work as well. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think of the Roman down in the comment section below. Do you like the updated head sculpt here? Again, I wish he was pissed off, but I think it will do for now. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.